Hey, how's it going, my fellow hunters? This is Rayello. Just here getting some calisthenics before this event quest to get ready for... Start getting ready for Devil Joe. So, it is March 15th, and the new event quest just came out. Hey, I already uh, went over the ones that might be of interest uh, in my other video, just kind of taking a quick look at them. So we're going to actually go in and do the one that I think is going to be worthwhile for this week. That's rolling with Ergon. Now I'm curious on whether or not the armor sphere, lo the ar amount of armor spheres you get for this is actually worthwhile. So, because um, you could just pile up a whole bunch of bounties where you just go collect stuff, go out on an expedition, collect it, and come back and kind of grab it. But uh, we're gonna look. We're gonna go ahead and do this one, and we're gonna take a look at the armor spheres we get and how many. Uh, let me see. It's Elder Jesus. I'll just go on camp one. We already ate. Alright, let's head on out. Now, the main reason I want to take a look at this is because, like I said, um, the, you gotta look at what kind of armor spheres you get. You gotta look at how many, and we're also gonna look at time of the quest. And um, once we go in, I'm not gonna bore you with the, the fight or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and once I get there, I'll just go ahead and kill them, and then I'll get back to you guys, and we'll look at the rewards, go over what we get, see how many we get, and then uh, figure out if it's worth it. Uragon's not the hardest monster by any means, but he is a bit of a he, he is a bit of a hit point sponge. In solo, it's not so bad, and if you got a good multiplayer team, you can knock them out pretty quick. There are two of them too, so they're sharing HP. So you're looking at, uh, well, their HP values are cut, so. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and hunt these guys down, and I will be back in just a little bit. Alright, so I did want to point out, if you guys can get these guys here into the crystal room, you can actually do some pretty decent damage to help speed this quest up a bit by dropping the crystals on them. Now, unfortunately, Paragons don't typically bother each other all that much. So they're not going to fight each other too much over you. So, But this crystal room can definitely help speed up this quest. Just a pointer. Alright, we've killed our first one here. Going to check the carves out just in case. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gotta love that when you don't spot the magma. Alright, we're going to see if the drops are any different. Sometimes I've seen in the past. Oh, our other guy came. And he's going to make it as difficult as possible to carve his buddy. I just want to see if there's armor spheres. Come on, leave me alone. Looks like the drops are going to be pretty basic Aragon drops. Nothing special there, so... I'll finish this guy up and I'll be... Alright, went ahead and captured the second one. Since we're not getting any special drops off of the carves. I did not notice there was another tail there. Alright, so let's take a look at our drops. Right on scale, hard bone. Here's our armor spheres here. We got one plus, two advanced, two pluses, so five pluses total, and two advanced. So seven armor spheres. If I can just get my reward sword out here. All right, we got seven armor spheres total, five pluses and two advanced. That's pretty. That's pretty decent. In that amount of time, I mean. As far as uh, being a good hunter, um, that's typically not me, so <laughs> I'm sure you guys can get much better times on these. Uh, if you got a group of four, you could always send two after one and two after another and probably finish it up in like 
three minutes or something. I tend to mount the monsters a lot. I always go for cutting the tails, so I tend to I tend to try and break everything too. So waste a lot of time. Oh, some people might see it as a waste. I like to play the game that way. I like to just if I can break a part, I like to break it, and if I can cut it, I try to cut it. So always been how I played since the beginning of the series. So if you guys want to do that. Uh, you can judge by based on the rewards there if this quest is worth it to you or not. Let's take a look at our typical bounties. So for a gathering, you're going to be looking at a hard armor sphere, advanced armor spheres. For large monster capture, to capture two of them, you tip, it looks like you get one there. So we didn't get any hards. The pluses are... Armor Sphere Pluses are pretty decent, but uh, honestly, they're not ideal. But considering you can capture two, if you can get these and then capture both Aragons, then you're double farming. So you can do Advanced Armor Spheres here as well as in the quest. Uh, you can do it with any of the large monsters, or if you can get... Uh, like I had these Brutes. If I put on these Brutes, and that's two, and that's two... So if I get these on, if I replace some of my other hunts with these two and large monster capture, which I think I'm going to do that, rearrange these, let's see, this, Oops. Well, that's three hard armor spheres, I don't want to lose that one, and I'm always after all this, so. aren't we all? So we'll go with all of our brutes, and we'll do the quest. If I do the quest again, I'm not going to bore you guys with all that. But as you can see here, if you do large monster, large brutes, that's going to be a lot of bounties in one to two quests. So you can really, you can really grind out the, you can really grind them out if you got the right bounties sitting there waiting for you. So, guys, I hope this helped out. Hope it didn't bore you too much. And hey, I appreciate you watching as always. Um, if there's any other event quests in the future, any other quests you'd like me to cover, feel free to leave it in the comments section below. I always read the comments, I always respond, and I appreciate you guys commenting, appreciate you guys liking, and if you could subscribe, that'd be great too. Um, I appreciate you guys, and I hope you have a great evening, and good luck in all your endeavors in farming for Devil Joe and everything that's to come. This is Royello, and as always, adopt a rescue. ASPCA.org, petfinder.com. Open your heart and your home to a new furry family member or other kind of family member. You know, if you like turtles or lizards, just get out there and open your heart to a new buddy today. Appreciate you guys. Take it easy.